Here we are back with Cromwell's victory, the Battle of Marston Moor, 2 July 1644. We are just about to start the second game turn. There is no visibility roll. We will go straight on into the Allied rally phase. Uh, you must rally disor disrupted units, disordered units. Um, the only uh, allied dis disrupted unit I have, yes, disrupted is the proper term, is the unit there that is um, turned at a 30 degree angle or whatever. Uh, this unit right here, I know what his name is here, so I can see it. Dodling, Dodling, whatever. He is near Fairfax, so he will get to use Fairfax number one um, command rating there to boost his middle number of two up to a three. So he has a 50% chance of rallying. Now if I can find the die that I was using, we will roll hopefully three or less. I roll a four. He does not undisrupt. So he'll remain disrupted throughout the rest of this uh, game turn. Okay, for the artillery, allied artillery phase, I only have two royalist units that I can target because all of my other artillery is masked by friendly units. Um, the rules state that I can fire from a hilltop to a non-hilltop hex only if blocking terrain, such as units, is more than half the distance to the target. So if I'm firing at, say, four hexes and they're two away, I cannot fire at them at the target beyond the two hexes. However, the two artillery um, batteries that are going to fire that do meet the requirements is this battery and this battery. This battery is going to attack uh, Trevor Trevor here, the Royalist Trevor unit, and it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's five hexes away. We'll use the five, ta uh, five column. However, the other friendly unit is one, two, three, so it's over halfway, so it will not block the line of sight, and the same for this unit. So we're going to go top to bottom. Top one's attacking the Trevor Royalist unit, and the bottom artillery is going to attack uh, the uh, Levinson artillery. So there are no modifiers. Both going to be on the five table. First die roll is a one. Did I say top to bottom or bottom to top? I think I said top to bottom. Anyway. One of them is going to suffer a disruption. So he'll suffer a disruption. Now the second one, same thing. <laughs> Another one. Well, both uh, both parliamentarian artillery have uh, successfully disrupted their target units. And so we will move on to the Allied march phase. Okay, up at the top of the screen, I have moved Cromwell's horse to engage, uh, let's see, Byron's horse. And we'll see what happens with that during the combat phase. Other than that, I advanced uh, most of the foot in the center, um, keeping out of range of the. Uh, the ditch and therefore being forced into mandatory combat at this time. They will be exposed to royalist cannon fire, but we'll have to just wait and see what happens there. I'm going to keep the leaders nearby to help uh, rally. And in the bottom of the screen, which I ought to find my compass rose, that would be the east. To the east, we have not yet engaged uh, Fairfax's horse yet. Um, Fairfax's horse is not engaged uh, Goring's horse yet. So we'll see what happens during the combat phase 
Right now it is 4.30 in the afternoon. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, the battle up west um, went fairly successful, was fairly successful for the Parliament player. We managed to rout, or not rout, disorder at least four um, royalist horse and foot. And we, ex we uh, had one of our heavy horse disrupted in an exchange. And the same down here, there was also an exchange, um, resulting in the loss of one Royalist unit, which was already um, disrupted by our cannon fire. And down s to the east of the board, or the center, I guess, we'll go next, there was uh, very little in the way of any conflict. However, we did have one unit. Or was that an exchange? And let me double let me double check here, because we had this unit here. I guess is what I should say. The Rigby unit attacked the Newcastle unit across the ditch, and that was at like a one to two because you're halved across uh, attacking across the ditch, and it resulted in uh, no effect. So that will be. Uh, There'll be a continuation of that battle next turn, unless one or the other unit moves away. Otherwise, we still just have some uh, normal units that are still in normal condition, and um, we haven't made any move to the east yet. Uh, Goring is still waiting before he launches his cavalry assault. Center is slowly starting to come together and mix it up. And on the west, uh, the west edge, Cromwell, like I said, is already engaged in battle uh, with the enemy horse and is trying to break through. It will depend on how well the Royalist players' rally phase goes to determine really. Um, who's going to gain the advantage there? So, anyway, that's turn two, 430 turn of Cromwell's victory, the Battle of Marston Moor.